In this section of the tutorial, we are going to be exploring the Wii Video Dashboard. Now when you log into the dashboard, it has a similar layout as things like Google Drive, where the top left hand corner has some buttons to create new things. Along the left hand side, you have folders. Now the way Wii Video works is you create project folders. Within those projects, you can then create videos. And if you have a shared project or a shared folder, this will allow other users to create um, videos that are then shared with you. Um, each user can create and edit the other projects. Um, one of the nice things to know though is that anyone who works on someone else's video cannot actually change the original. It just creates a new copy that is then edited. So no files will ever be kind of destroyed without the original owner kind of giving permission. So those are your project folders. Now with the project folder, it's going to show you a couple of different things. Now you can always click create video to create a new video. You can click invite to add a collaborator. Those options appear in other places while you're editing your video, but those are also accessible right here at the beginning. Now if you look towards the right, you'll see there's four different tabs. Now the videos tabs is what shows up as default. This particular project folder has three videos that have been created so far. The shared media folder shows a number of different pictures and video clips that have been shared to everyone in this particular project group. Now I have a lot of stuff saved in my media section. Not all of that is shared with the group. Only the things that I have chosen to share with my partners are available in this shared media group. This is a great place for people that are working together to upload their separate media they've come up with and then the whole group has access to it to use it. If you look along the right hand side you can see when it was added and which user added it. Exports, which I have none on this particular project, show you any final videos that have been kind of produced. Now you have a opportunity to produce up to 15 minutes of video per month. Um, that's just on the free version. So that should be more than enough for most projects and that's per student. So if you had a group of four people, they have quite a bit of time to use. The last tab is members. If you click on members, it'll show anyone who has been added to this group. So you can see who is kind of on your team. Now I've switched over to a different project folder to one that has an export. Now, I'm going to click on that to show you. Now, this exported file has been kind of finalized and finished. That doesn't mean I can't go in and create another one, but this particular copy is now here and available to be shared. Now, one of the nice things here is I can watch it here or I can download it. What's nice about downloading is I can take this off of this software, put it on a flash drive or on a computer, and use it in a different program. We video also allows you to publish to both YouTube and your Google Drive accounts automatically, plus a couple of other video sharing sites. So it's a pretty flexible tool that you can use. And the other part about the dashboard you're going to want to know about are these four tabs across the top. These tabs will be maintained throughout the editing process. You'll always have the projects tab, the media tab, the upload tab, and your account tab available to click on. Now the projects tab is what we've been working on with the project folders and then you're seeing the subfolders within each project. The media tab, when you click on this, it will take you to your library of materials. Now these are all pictures or videos that I have added to my account. So I don't have that many here, but I can add many more and I'll show you how to uh, kind of keep track of how much you've um, added under the account tab. But if I have a number of things here, I can add more at any time. I can always click back on, I can go click over the next tab and click on upload and I add more. But if I want to add things or move things around, I check them. And when I check a number of them, I can choose different actions. I can choose to delete them. I can share them to a particular project. I can sort through my media. If I want just videos, I can choose that or sort by title. And there's also the filter over here, which actually lets me filter through by type. So you can choose just images, videos, or audio. These are all things that you can store up and use. Now, the only way other people have access to this is if you share it through a project. Now, the Upload tab, very self-explanatory, allows you to upload files to your WeVideo account. Now, it allows you to browse files from your Google Drive account. Um, you can even grab things from Facebook, Dropbox, Picasa, this other box icon. 
I think Instagram, but you can pull different files from different places if you have synced these accounts to your WeVideo account. You can also just do the standard browse files and click on that and you'll get the typical navigation window that allows you to choose whatever file you want and upload it. Now under the account settings, when you click on this, this is where you can choose how your account is going to be kind of situated as far as what you're connected to. So I have my account and it's connected to YouTube. If I wanted to connect it to Facebook or Twitter, I could do that. It basically just asks you to sign into those accounts. And when you do that, you can then produce things to those directly. Now it tells you what level your account is. Mine is the light version, which gives me 15 minutes a month. Uh, I've been a member since August of 2012. Right now, I have not produced any video this month, so I have my full 15 minutes available. Plus, I'm only using 86 megabytes of my 5 gigabytes of storage. So you have a lot of storage space to put stuff up here with and, and work on your projects. But this is where you kind of come to manage that time to see what you have left. But those are the four main tabs. Those will be present on any editing level you choose to use. But this is using the dashboard.